Howdy, Summers. Welcome back to the Cardigan Legacy. In the last episode, Harmony and Penny had a second baby, which was something I was planning on having them do, just not so soon. But last episode, on a whim, I decided to make them have another baby, so here we are. I also mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to move the Cardigan family out to Chestnut Ridge. Both Daisy and Delilah have birthdays that we're going to be celebrating today. Daisy will be aging up into a child, and child sims can ride horses in this game, so as a birthday present for her, we're going to be moving them out to Chestnut Ridge. But we are picking up right where we left off from the last episode. So Harmony is still at work, and I believe she's at work until 7 o'clock. Yeah. So we got a few hours of just Penny with the kids, which Delilah is asleep right now, actually. And it looks like Daisy's just watching her, which is actually really cute. Ah, she's trying to talk to her baby sister. <laughs> Napping and enclosure. You don't need to do that. You have a bed all the way over here. If you want to nap, just nap there, not in the treehouse. Oh, Eliza's calling. Delighted you recommended I spend time with Brittany Charm. Amused the entire time. Okay. I feel like the goal for Eliza was actually for us to become, like, decent friends. But then we have not hung out, like, at all. <laughs> oh, baby's crying. Mom on the move. And she's home. All right, we made 918 simoleons, which is fantastic. Let's get you straight to the bathroom. Have you ever heard of something called the mode of trials? Apparently, they take a bunch of sims and put them in some remote place and let them battle it out. Do you think you'd want to be a part of something like that? I guess count me in. Well, then let's get going. I'll be waiting at the secret location. Competing in the mode of trials. Wait, what? We're not going somewhere, are we? Is this an actual thing? Okay, no, that's just a rabbit hole. What the? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that, and I have no idea what that consists of. Wow, she's imagination level four. I think her skills have gone faster, like have leveled up faster than any of the toddlers. And my 100 baby challenge which i think we only have two in total like one of the toddlers just aged up into a kid for anyone who's not watching the series um but we do have one that just aged up into a toddler and i swear it takes forever to level up those skills oh my gosh <laughs> dang we make 389 simoleons an hour from this and 102 simoleons from that you know what? We make decent money, honestly. We're doing good. We're at 30,000 simoleons at the moment. But we are going to have to make some cakes soon enough. Yeah, so tomorrow is Delilah's birthday, and then immediately after is Daisy's. Are you still at the mode of trials? How long is that going to take? <laughs> How long is she going to be there for? Like, several days? Because we can't be gone for several days. We have birthdays to do, and Harmony should not be missing them. Oh, she's home. She is not doing well. <laughs> She's so tired. I'm going to do something real quick and just go around looking for things that we need to put into our inventory to take with us to the new house. So just the little stuff and some of the big stuff. So I will go ahead and put this in the inventory as well as the satellite here. And you know what? Probably the bike. <laughs> what is wrong with this kid? She just wants so much attention. And at a spooky fest, which we actually can't do anything for, so... <laughs> we can dress up in costumes, but that's it. The actual trick-or-treating function does not work for us. So we can get people coming up to the door to go trick-or-treating, but we cannot trick-or-treat. Which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's a mod that has fixed that, but that's probably something I should look into. Enjoy your peanut butter and jelly. Meanwhile, I guess we can go ahead and put them in some costumes just to kind of get their stuff on here. We'll turn Daisy into a little monster for this, I guess. All right, you are feeling a lot better in terms of sleep, but you need some serious help in the other departments. Yeah, yeah, everyone's spirit is fading away. We all remember that honeymoon. Delilah is doing okay. She is just chilling, but it is her birthday today, so we will be aging her up. I don't know if we have the room in this house to get an actual crib so that's great <laughs> we do have to actually wait a day before we can move into the house because the house that i built for them for when they moved to chestnut ridge uh is prepped for a child and an infant so we will have the crib there but daisy won't be able to use her bed yet so 
that that's our problem with that so and then actually it looks like we have bills to pay too so we should maybe do that 734 simoleons oh <laughs> yeah yeah okay i waited too long and our power got shut off but it's fine we're paying the bills now i think we're gonna go ahead and age up delilah into an infant because it is her birthday and i know we haven't gotten the notification yet but i'm not gonna wait forever so <laughs> <laughs> let's age this baby up oh preferably not on three speed <laughs> all right she is a sunny infant which is great was i can't remember if daisy was a sunny infant or not but yay delilah Ah, uh, she's so cute <laughs> loud noises is the tv on oh yes it is <laughs> We can turn that off. No one's watching it. She already got her first smile milestone, apparently. Which is fantastic. But we have a toddler and infant for the moment. <laughs> Alright, can I get you to feed her then? Because I do see that she is hungry. I also don't know what time trick-or-treaters actually start showing up. So I guess we just play the waiting game for that. As bad as it is, I guess we could just have... Delilah sleep on the little floor mat here so that way we're not spending money on a crib when there's gonna be a new one at the house <laughs> we don't really need that do we um I do need to remember to grab the high chair and the toddler potty before we leave and maybe a few extra toys that we have and maybe the changing table because I don't think I put a changing table in the other house there's a few things that I need to take with us but it's okay and none of my sims are cleaning their dishes up which is fantastic uh ex what no you have food right there you eat that <laughs> what is wrong with you oh she got the reach milestone cool look at you already getting some milestones oh are you Taking a nap. Yeah. We are gonna wake up Daisy because she is doing okay. She doesn't really need a nap. Looks like both of them had decided to take a nap. That's fine. Oh, hey, it's almost Daisy's birthday. You know. And looks like Harmony has woken up. We can wake up Penny too. Quirk revealed hates wake up time. Delilah rarely wakes up in a good mood. Infants with a hates wake up time quirk are more likely to behave like grumpy bunnies when they wake up from a nap or sleep. But you're doing fine, okay? You're just a little bit grumpy. She really does not like the sounds of the TV, does she? We've got our first trick-or-treater, Josh Bell. Also dressed like an... Well, I was gonna say also dressed like an astronaut, but no. I think this is a bad two costume, so... <laughs> Come on, go give this person a treat. Or something. I guess not. Bye. We can watch Sims of the Dead in honor of it being spooky fest. That might keep Delilah up, actually, but whatever. Try to go night-night. Just try. <laughs> oh, that's not a trick-or-treater. That is Vladislaus Strauss. <laughs> or Vladislaus. I don't know how that's pronounced. Uh, I've always pronounced it Vladislaus, but I have no clue what the actual thing is. Uh, what you doing here, vampire man? I know it's spooky fest, but you are not a trick-or-treater. I honestly don't think I have seen him come up to any of my Sims houses in a very long time so i have no clue why he's here he's just standing out there we can see you right through the door we are not inviting you in once we've aged up daisy into a child i'll hop into create a sim and give them a makeover so just a little bit just maybe get them some more normal outfits because i don't know what they're going to generate with but it'll be interesting when they do yeah we haven't really had any trick-or-treaters tonight we had one and we didn't actually give to give them anything so <laughs> And then we had the vampire show up. So maybe he scared all the trick-or-treaters away. Yeah, no trick-or-treaters. I think Vlad actually did scare off all the trick-or-treaters. How disappointing. <laughs> and Spooky Fest was awful. <laughs> well, you know what? It was successful for someone? Okay, Daisy. Daisy is hungry, so we're going to wake her up and get her to grab a serving of the fruit salad. Penny is doing okay. She's actually wide awake now. I am surprised that <laughs> Delilah has not woken up at all. And it's the lottery. Maybe we should spend some money a little bit. <laughs> um, attempt, at least, to get some extra money. How do we do this? Is it shopping or... Yeah, purchase lottery tickets. And then we will have Penny do the same. Maybe because we're famous, we'll win. You know? Like, 
Maybe there's an advantage for Penny. Once Harmony is done with that, I'm gonna have her make a cake. That way we can age up Daisy. Grab Milestone. Cool. She is getting these so quickly. <laughs> Where are these kind of babies in my 100 baby challenge? Because this is frustrating. Let's help blow out candles, Daisy. Oh, we have work today too, apparently. All right, where's Daisy going? All the way outside. Someone remind me to grab that cake before we leave. I know that no one can remind me to grab the cake, but it's fine. Where are you going? What the heck? Daisy. <laughs> okay. Um, she is, oh gosh, hot-headed. <laughs> Great. All right. Um, there we go. I don't know. Hot-headed child. Fantastic. I'm going to hop into Creative Sim and give them a makeover, but I will be right back. Okay, so I decided to just make all their outfits off of recording because it took me way too long, honestly, to figure out what I wanted to do. But this is Daisy's new everyday. I think she looks really cute. I did try to keep a pink theme for her because her color is pink. I do associate my Sims with different colors a lot of the time, so pink is Daisy's. And this is her formal, her athletic sleepwear party, which I did go very horse ranch themed for the party. So she's got an entirely horse ranch outfit so everything is from that expansion and then we have the swimwear hot weather and cold weather so that is daisy's outfits and then delilah i have associated with the color purple so here is delilah's everyday her formal which not everything did come in purple unfortunately uh, i'm not gonna lie with the infants i just uh use the styled looks. I don't have enough custom content in my game to really care about what outfits they're wearing, so I just go for the styled looks. Uh, this is her sleepwear, her party wear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. So there we go. And I do know some of the outfits on Delilah are more pinkish than purple. Again, styled looks. But there we go. Okay, but now that we have officially aged up everyone. Let's grab every item that we need still for this next house. So we are going to need that. We are going to need that. Uh, we're going to need the play mat for the time being. <laughs> um, is there anything else I want to take with us? The high chair? Yes. Uh, we are going to need that as well. And that might be everything. I might grab these toys just in the off chance we need some extra stuff. But I think other than that, we are good. And the toddler potty. <laughs> Cannot forget that. We definitely need that. And I already grabbed the treehouse and the satellite. Maybe we can grab the toddler pool as well. So we will have that. And then I think other than the cake that I need to grab from the fridge, we are good to go. And also computer. All right, so I built this little mini ranch for the Cardigan family to move them into, and it the build that I did for this is actually one of my last videos. I don't know if it's the last video or if it's just one of the last few, but it's only a few videos away, so if you want to watch the process of this build, uh, I will link it below, and the chance it's not the last video that I posted. But we are going to move into this. It is a starter, so it's going to be very small. But let's go ahead and place this somewhere. So I think I built this up here on this 20 by 20. So I'll go ahead and just replace that lot. And then I will move them in and it'll be a great time. All right, so I had a bit of a delay with actually moving them here because right when I wanted them to move, both Harmony and Penny went to work. So I had to wait for Penny to get home because she gets off the earliest. But <laughs> unfortunately, Harmony got yoinked from work as well with the move. So we have her for the rest of the day, which is fantastic. But this is the house right here. So it it's really nothing special. Like I said, it's a starter home, essentially. It's a starter ranch with just a little undercover space for the horse and... It's a very, very small place. So hopefully I can fit everything in here that I 
need to because I did bring a lot of stuff with us from the other house, actually. So <laughs> let, let's just see how much we can put around. I'm going to put this probably in the corner, maybe like, I don't know, right there. I I'm hopeful that they'll still be able to get to stuff. I'm not entirely sure. But let's shove these between the fridge and the desk. And then we will put the computer there. We will switch out one of these chairs for the high chair and just put that in the inventory for now. Um, we've got the elemental display rack, which I suppose I can put right behind the couch. <laughs> I hope all of the elements stayed in there. It doesn't look like they're there at the moment, but that's fine. Um, what else do we have? We have... The tree house, which I do not think we'll be able to fit on this lot, but <laughs> just barely, um, but not really, like, at all. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. We may have to delete the tree, the no more uh, tree back there. We have the tree house instead, and I really hope that's not clipping into the rest of the house, but I have no clue. Oh, it's fine. It it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. Um, all right. Now we've got to try to squeeze in the changing table somewhere. We don't have the room for this. Oh, man. We could maybe try fitting it in the bedroom, like the master, but I have a feeling that won't work. Oh, gosh. I did not think this through when I built this. <laughs> um, If I move the mirror... I can possibly fit this, like, here or so. Alright, so did they survive? Uh, doesn't look like any of our elements are in there, which is concerning. Uh, I am going to put our food in the fridge here. But... Did we lose all of our elements? Because I swear. <laughs> I think we lost all of our elements, which honestly kind of sucks. But I guess we'll start from the beginning. Also, we have a lot of these capsules. This is interesting. Oh, well. Um, we do also have some things in Penny's inventory. So let's go ahead and drag out the marriage certificate. And then we do have our little handprint things. So this one is Daisy's. And then Delilah's can go maybe above the bear here. All right, now Daisy does have homework already. So let's have her do that. We actually have a decent amount of money now that we sold all of our furniture. We have more money than we did before. So I guess some of the stuff at the house in San Sequoia was a little expensive, uh, which is fine. <laughs> We've got the tree house here. We have a little area for a horse that we will get in the future. So I really do hope they'll be able to get to that bed with all that stuff there. Uh, okay, you can sit down at the actual table. You know, why don't you stop talking to your mom and do your homework? And you two find something to occupy your time. Go watch TV. And now, I'm trying to remember if I put a bookshelf anywhere. I don't know if I did or not. It's not looking like it, which is a little concerning. Did I not put a bookshelf in here at all? I think I had planned to and then it didn't end up working out because I wanted to put a desk here. Oh, well. well. We'll get a bookshelf at another time. Did you seriously drop your tablet on the floor, Penny? Okay. You don't need to be doing your homework outside. <laughs> Alright, looks like Delilah has already fallen asleep. And hopefully she sleeps a lot better now that she is in an actual crib and not on the floor. <laughs> Where are you going? She does not want to do her homework at the table. Is she... Okay. She has decided she wants to go do her homework in her parents' room. That's fine. Whatever. As long as you're doing it, not outside in the cold. Is it cold? It's cool. Okay. Not like frozen outside, but... <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday, Daisy. When I built this house, I did try to use a lot of stuff that kind of fit that more country vibe. So I used a lot of the stuff from Horse Ranch as well as Cottage Living. So stuff like the appliances. Uh, I really did kind of do my best to use only... 
a couple packs for this house because I did want it to feel very uh, rustic-y, I guess. Uh, I wanted it to fit the vibes of the world, and I think I managed that. But it's really nothing special. But you know what I'm going to do, actually? I want to go into town and find that board where you can adopt the horses and such. And I'm going to take Daisy with me, so... We can say that Daisy picked out the horse that she wanted, so I th think we can access it through <sighs> probably the bar, honestly. Also, Johnny Zest apparently lives out here, but he's a ghost. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. Okay, but I think if we go through the oak barrel lot, we should be able to find the board in like the center of town or so. And we can adopt a horse that way. And don't get it wrong, folks. We are only here for the board. We are not bringing a child to a bar. Is it not here, actually? I don't know where it would be. <laughs> I thought it was in, like, the center of town. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. There's this over here. Rescue horse. We can do that. But I don't think we can actually like find the board to pick out a horse or anything so i guess we'll just go down there it's fine <laughs> all right so we have a few options um we have a foal which is a little baby horse which could be good considering that daisy is a new child she can grow up with the horse maybe uh defiant aggressive and needy not great <laughs> um independent intelligent but fearful we have Defiant, Needy, Fearful, uh, Fearful, Defiant, Friendly, Needy, Aggressive, Defiant, and Needy, Defiant, and Fearful. Wow. So, <laughs> lots of Defiance on here. Oh, hey, that horse is also named Daisy. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Should we have Daisy have a horse named Daisy? That's so funny. Daisy and her horse Daisy. We're not going to do that, but that is so funny. Um, I definitely think I want to get a full. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a good idea. So maybe we go Marshmallow because at least Marshmallow is friendly. So, and I think kids can ride full on horses. Marshmallow Cardigan. Yep. Congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room, go to the outdoor section, and then animals. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so where is our horse actually right now? It says Marshmallow's in the building. We'll go home and see if it comes with us. All right. So Marshmallow is here and they've already acquired the temperament skill, which is great. Well, we are going to assign this to Marshmallow. Oof. I think I missed. <laughs> Sign bed to Marshmallow. There we go. And I did turn on the wild prairie grass lot trait. So we should have prairie grass growing at some point. But I don't know. Let's go ahead and refill that though. So he has some food. We got a milestone for getting a horse, which is great. And it looks like everyone has gone to sleep. And Harmony honestly could use some sleep as well. So... Let's send her to bed, and then I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. But I had a lot of fun today, and I'm really excited to see what this family gets up to now that we are living in Chestnut Ridge. We have a horse, and that was not planned for this episode, but I figured, you know, just to add a little something, we'll get a horse now and go from there. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series still, and if you are, maybe leave a little like down below and comment how much you love it. <laughs> But with that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials. Links are below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.